inspiration. I am in my room and I am finally doing a booktuber thing and being in front of my handy dandy bookshelf here and with my TV stand that has all my movies on it, but I'm actually in my room. I wanted to see how the lighting was in here because I only have one window and it's in the corner of my room and so I usually have like a blanket over it. I don't really like it because it doesn't like do anything for my room really to light it up but I'm hoping I can get blind soon so this process is a little bit easier for me but I actually kind of like the way that the lighting looks and I kind of like the way that this looks and I'm also really really happy with it because yeah but tell me what you guys think of all my like different change scene changes down below because i have no idea if you guys like this do you guys like this i kind of like this i think this is gonna be like a new place for us to film it's just it's really chill i'm like on the floor which i will eventually change hopefully in the future but i just i kind of like it you know here and today we are doing another tag video and we are going to be doing the anything but books tag I was tagged by Miso or otherwise known as Melissa Hall she just recently changed her channel name um, but I'm going to link her video down below so you should definitely go check her out I'm also going to be linking the original video which was by reader rot down below as well so definitely go check both of them out but with that being said we should probably get right into the video because I already know we're going to be here for a while um, there's 10 questions. I am not a super, super interesting person, but I do like to talk, if you guys have not noticed already. Um, but anyways, let's, let's get right into it. Question number one, name a cartoon or cartoons that you love. Um, okay, well I'm going to start off by saying that I am a huge Pixar fan. I'm a huge Disney fan. I'm a huge animated movies fan. Um, in fact, actually my sophomore year near the end of it, I actually spent like three months and literally all I did was watch animated stuff, animated cartoons, animated movies, anything and everything. As long as it wasn't live action. The only thing that I watched that was live action was YouTube and things that I saw in the movie theater. Other than that, everything I watched was cartoons for literally three months. I love cartoons. They're like a part of my life. They're like my childhood and they're also like my present day hood. But I love them. So if I have to choose, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to go through a whole bunch of different types. My favorite Pixar movie is Cars. My favorite non-Disney movie as of right now is Sing, which actually came out like last year, but I still love it. It's amazing. And then my favorite Disney movie is Big Hero 6, I want to say. Big Hero 6 or Lady and the Tramp, actually. And then my favorite Disney princess movie is Beauty and the Beast. And then my favorite cartoon TV show is, it has to be like Scooby-Doo, though I love literally everything. <laughs> So it's kind of hard for me to choose. Number two, what is your favorite song right now? Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, I'm on the floor. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, my favorite song at the moment is Believer by Imagine Dragons. I am literally obsessed with their album Evolve and I just like, I cannot get enough of it. I've literally been listening to this song all month. So basically every month I make like these monthly playlists and it's on my monthly playlist and I am literally obsessed with it. I am obsessed with this song. Okay, okay, um, let's move on. <laughs> uh, number three, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? Um, that's easy. Watch TV or watch movies. I love binge watching TV shows. I love binge watching movies. I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I can't remember which one, that I am a huge movie nerd and movie geek. As you can see, like right here, these are all movies. They go all the way down there, I swear. It's like full shelves. Um, but I love, but I love movies and I absolutely adore TV shows. 
uh, the likelihood is, is that you can tell me any TV show and I've either watched it or know what it is. Just because I, I've literally seen so many TV shows. I am literally addicted to TV shows. I love binge watching them. I would say Netflix, but I watched it on Hulu and Amazon Prime and everything as well. It's not just Netflix that I watch things on. So yeah, I'd have to say TV, watching TV and stuff like that. It's really funny though because there's like two different types of booktube. There's the booktubers who actually like watch TV and then there's the booktubers who are like, I don't watch TV. And it's like, how do you not watch TV? And they're like, I don't have enough time. And it's like, I literally, I literally have time to watch binge watch like three tv shows at the same time read like 10 books do youtube have a job go out with my friends what do you mean you don't have time you know okay i'm fine everything is fine it just it really hurts me when people say that they don't watch tv like i don't watch physical tv like like cable but i watch like netflix and hulu and amazon prime and shit i watch tv shows i watch movies that hurt me it's fine okay yeah um so that's something <laughs> Number four, what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? You know, that's a, that's a really good question. I'm a pretty much an open book. Anything you guys would assume about me is probably true. I take honors in AP classes. I am an overachiever. I read a lot. I write. I watch movies and TV shows. I'm a total nerd. Um, I'm a total geek. I love to watch my walk my dogs i love to talk with my friends i love to do all that kind of stuff the only thing i can think of that you guys would probably be surprised by is the fact that i'm a gamer i love playing video games um i actually was originally planning on starting a gaming channel instead of a booktube channel but then i ended up making a booktube channel so i think that's probably the only thing i can think of that you guys would be surprised about number five what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about this question was really tricky. I kept looking at this question and like trying to think of something and my explanation is going to be very very confusing so bear with me. Something unnecessarily specific that I like to learn about is unnecessarily specific things. So like random things that people kind of know what they are but they don't actually know. So it's so like for instance Morse code. Most of you guys know what Morse code is, but most of you guys actually don't know Morse code. I actually learned Morse code at the beginning of the school year. I don't remember it anymore, but I did know how to do that. I also know how to like solve Rubik's cube. I love learning about geography. I love learning about unnecessarily specific things. Um and that is like an unnecessarily specific thing that I like learning about is unnecessarily specific things. You see what I mean? It's kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, that's, that was the only thing I could think of. It's just like random things that like, but it's like a broad sense for my unnecessarily specific thing. Does that make any sense? I don't know. That's, yeah, I'm an interesting character. Number six, what is something unusual you know how to do? I can solve a Rubik's cube. Is that unusual? Is that unusual? <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it's actually kind of like screwed up right now and I'm not gonna solve it because I'd have to start over. I can do that. I mean I'm not very good at it, like I'm not super super fast at it. Uh, I know Morse code, or at least I used to know Morse code. Unnecessarily specific thing I know how to do, I kinda know every movie that's coming out and what month it's coming out, like all the time. <laughs> I can probably tell you the artist of a song even if I don't know the song. That's probably it. I mean, I know like a lot of like weird tricks and stuff, but I can't think of anything unusual. <laughs> I'm a pretty, I mean, I'm not normal. I'm like the farthest thing from normal, but I'm not like super, super weird or like extraordinary. Anything unusual I know how to do. Number seven, name something you've made in the past year. Uh, I actually, and like halfway through the school year, I actually got back into sketching. I used to love to sketch when I was, uh, younger, I guess, because technically I was younger, but not like super, super young. When I was like back in middle school and like early high school years and stuff like that, I used to love to sketch. I'm a perfectionist. I am very good at looking at a picture and then sketching it onto another piece of paper and making it look almost exactly as the original picture. Um... But some stuff that I've made, I actually, cause I don't really, I don't really sketch anymore, but I do sometimes on occasion. And it's the only thing I can think of other than like English stuff. 
Um, and here's some pictures of just like some things that I made. I did like the Flash logo, the Superman logo, and then I also drew like Spider-Man because I went through like my, because I was going through my superhero phase. I'm always going for my superhero phase though, but they're just some things that I made and I don't actually know where all the originals are. Um, I'm pretty sure they're in a box that's like underneath three other boxes because I just like put everything in that box like a couple of like a month ago or something like that and I don't really want to like get it out because all the other boxes on top of it are really heavy um <laughs> but I found pictures of them so that's great number eight what is your most recent project my most recent project is that I'm actually currently writing a book um which should be like no surprise who on booktube is that's a writer is like not writing a book I don't know but um I'm actually taking this class in the company in the upcoming year called Advanced Studies. And basically it's like a self-taught class where all you have to do is you choose a project that you're going to do throughout the entirety of the year. And the project I chose is writing a book and I am kind of like in the planning process right now of the book and I'm super, super excited about it. And yeah, that's my personal project. Number nine, tell us something you think about often while like staring out windows or something like that. I often think about like I mean, I think about everything, but something that often comes to mind is like making a difference in the world and stuff like that and how so many people have so many great ideas and so many things that they want to be different in the world, but then they don't go out and do anything about it and it just, it really bothers me and I think about that a lot. Um, I don't know, like I think about a lot of just random, really, really deep things and this is not a very, very deep channel as of right now, it might get there one day, but I'm like not trying to do that right now. <laughs> Number 10, give us something that is your favorite, but make it something oddly specific and not like your favorite food or something like that, but your favorite food when you've been studying and you haven't eaten a long time or something like that. Um, I have really interesting habits when it comes to eating food. I like to, I, I like make really weird combinations of things. For instance, like potato chips, I eat them with chip dip, which makes sense, but then I also eat it with buffalo sauce and like either just buffalo sauce or with the chip dip. Um, like that's just something unnecessarily specific. I also really like when I eat spicy things to drink chocolate milk because obviously milk is milk helps with acid it actually um, removes it water doesn't do anything for acid it just kind of swishes it around your mouth um, but I don't like milk so I drink chocolate milk instead um, and I just I really like the way that it tastes I don't know is that like an un unnecessarily specific thing about me probably lastly say the first thing that comes into your head bananas I actually used to love the word banana because it's really similar to my name Brianna and in fact my cousins actually that's my nick that's their nickname for me is banana and it's like really cute and I just really really like that I don't know why that came into my head though my mom bought bananas like a while ago and she like made me eat them because she always thinks I never eat the bananas when she buys them and she gets mad at me because I skipped a day and then I almost missed my phone call that's that I got the job because I went to go get a goddamn banana I don't know, just I have so many stories with bananas. We're not gonna go, we're not gonna go there right now. I don't know why that came into my head. It just, it just did. It did, it did the last time I read through these questions as well. I read through them like a couple of times just to be prepared for the video. And that's the word that came into my head before as well. I don't know. Okay, um, yeah, so that's, that is all the questions that I have. Again, I'm going to be tagging you guys if you are here watching this video and you would like to do this tag and you have not been tagged yet, then consider yourself tagged because I am tagging you. I didn't have anyone particular that I wanted to tag, so I just kind of like to tag people because I always get comments on my videos that are like, is it okay if I do this tag video or something like that despite the fact that you haven't tagged me? And I'm like, yeah, no, sure, of course, why not? And yeah, because I like doing tag videos even if I haven't been tagged, so it's really nice to just kind of like say that you've been tagged even if you haven't like necessarily been tagged. So you've been tagged! Yay! I didn't forget it this time. I always forget to say who's who was tagged. But yes, that is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to stick around. And if you do, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! I like it. My hair looks really, really red. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cause like I have, I have a light right there, but then I also have this light coming and it just, it looks really, really nice. Is this gonna be like a thing that I do now? Gosh, I love the hiccups. Oh, okay. Bye-bye.